Hello friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to uh, look into uh, new DAX functions. Actually, this is going to be a series of videos and uh, we will explore uh, new DAX functions, uh, also called the Windows window fun DAX functions, and to explore how those functions will be used uh, to achieve uh, reporting needs. In today's video, we are going to look into how to deal with the blank value when we are using with the offset function and uh, we want a previous row um, sales or quantity or uh, whatever the uh, measure we are using. So let's get to Power BI and take a look. So here I have a sales by color and um, what we want is let's see if we want to calculate previous row um, sales uh, we can take advantage advantage of new DAX function so let's uh, write it and um, go through this DAX function so the function is uh, let's call it offset previous row and um, <clears throat> the measure is sales uh, calculate sales so basically we want the previous um, uh, row sales and the offset is the first part is negative or positive or zero if we want the same row value then we'll zero which we will not use or very rarely we will use negative one go one row back negative two go row twos back and positive it will go to um, number of rows which we define here in the delta and so uh, keep in mind the offset work the current row is set as a zero and then minus one previous and positive one uh, and future rows or the next rows and the next thing is the relation again this is a a optional parameter and uh, if we don't give this parameter then the parameters the column from the order by and the partition by will be used but uh, i'm going to use um, this as an um, uh, value here so what we want to do is all selected product color so what we're saying is okay i want to offset based on the all colors which have been selected right now all the colors are selected and give me the previous one and order by because we need to give the order by here how we calculate the uh, offset previous uh, what will be the order and in this case what we will do is a product color and uh, then another parameter now here is a blanks. I think this is currently not supported and uh, we can skip that. And so I'm going to leave that uh, no value there. And partition by, I think we don't need to be set in a partition because we're just looking at the color level. So I'm going to remove these last two um, values. So if we go offset here now. So let's use this new measure in the visualization. So what we see is uh, uh, we have a some color showed up which does not have uh, the value in the previous but they still show up like in this case the gray color it does not have the value in the current sales and uh, it, the, the gray doesn't have any sales and it gives the previous one which is blue which is correct but when it comes to multi it has the value but the, the this is black because uh, the gray does not have any value. So the question is like how we can remove um, the the blank ones in this case because in multi case we don't want to look at the gray one but we want to look at the blue one because that is the known empty value um, uh, the previous row. So one way one can think of okay you know what how about if I do if uh, note is blank if my sales is not blank then only uh, calculate the previous row otherwise don't otherwise it will return blank so if we do this let's see if it will work now gray is gone uh, but our multi color is still returning the blank value because within this particular within the DAX we said all selected product colors so basically all the colors which we have selected so coming from our product table so all the colors are there gray is also part of there uh, that color 
and then we are ordering by product color so what we are doing here is in this case we are checking that there is no sales and then don't calculate the um, offset so the gray color disappeared because it does not have any sales and that row disappeared but it did not solve it solved one problem the gray color is not showing up because it does not have any sale but it did it created another problem the multi is now showing black whereas the previous row is blue and it should show the value of the blue color similar the scenario is with the white um, so what we need to do here is we need to further tweak this instead of having this if condition here what we can do is we're going to use summarize all selected sales so sales is our fact table and then summarize it by color so what does this means is we took our whole sales table and basically grouped it by color and uh, now we will only this summarize will only return those colors which have a sales if it doesn't have a sales those colors will not get a return and um, so that will remove the blank colors which does not have any sales so after this once we put this fix um, we will have solution here and as you can see now we don't put the if condition and our multi is now showing the blue color the previous row as in a blue and uh, the white is showing as the previous color as a silver and let's see if tomorrow uh, new data comes in and the gray also have the sales what would happen is the gray will show up in here and the multi will automatically will pick the previous row of the gray color uh, value of the gray color and show up in here so uh, with a very simple with summarize we can really um, overcome the issue of the blank value uh, is there another way that we can calculate the um, previous row or next row doesn't matter whether we call previous or next uh, uh, um, actually we can also take advantage of um, windows function and uh, in the next video i'm going to talk about um, how we can have the previous row similar functionality using the windows function and uh, we will have a lot more videos on these new dax functions stay tuned do subscribe my youtube channel until next video have a good day thank you bye for now